it's 2023 and we're back what's on my deck kicking it off here it's february it has been a long winter for me minnesota's freezing tons of snow not a whole lot of rod and reels and stuff to talk about but i've been collecting and putting them together and i feel like i got a really good set of stuff for the 2023 season coming up and you hear about a lot of the new stuff coming out right here. So definitely subscribe to this channel. Uh, again, we'll keep these coming what's on my deck monthly. And uh, we got some new stuff too for the graphs too. So you definitely want to subscribe. Josh Douglas Fishing, let's kick it off. It's February, we're down here in Florida where I tend to like to be in the month of February. And one bait that I've been doing a lot of damage with just finished up a 65th place finish on Okeechobee in the first Elite Series event and was throwing a Outcast Tackle 3A Sounds RTX jig. Now I was throwing this as a swim jig. A lot of people don't think of it that way. They think of it as an up north flipping jig in the milfoil, but not this guy. This is something I pair with straight braid and absolutely put the onions to them down in Florida, especially down in South Florida with all the heavy cover. My setup is super duper important. I'm throwing a G Loomis NRX Plus. 904 MBR made bass rod. I got a whole nother video coming out on why I choose the MBR rod, but to give you the quick lowdown, I like them for reaction baits and especially something like this. Chucking around this big bait, I needed that four power, that heavy action, straight cork right to the ribs, 50 pound Power Pro SSV2 and Onyx Black, and I was throwing a seven speed Shimano Bantam. This is the new Bantam absolutely love them mgl spool i can cast a long way rigid reel awesome for wenching big ones out so that's number one use that to search a lot of water right now this time of year it's spring down here in florida at least and these fish are trying to push shallow to think about the spawn up next the jerk plug right here's the world minnow i love the world minnow this is the 115 sp I throw it in this color a lot when it's sunny out. I throw it in the gold down here in Florida when it's cloudy and windy. Otherwise, I'm throwing the silver one right here, a little bit of white to it. I'm throwing it on a G Loomis NRX Plus. This is an 842C MBR. Remember what I just told you? I love the MBR series when it comes to reaction baits, and nothing's more reaction bait than the jerk bait. And the Shimano plug, I love it down this jerk bait. I love down in anywhere where there's hydrilla. And there's plenty of hydrilla all around Florida right now, up here at Lake Seminole where we're at. That, it stays high in the water column. Throwing again with that 12 pound fluorocarbon, it still stays up there on top of the hydrilla, around the clumps, and just an awesome bait for shallow water. The NRX Plus is perfect, super light, a little bougie for your jerk bait, but at the same time, who doesn't want a nice, light, easy to jerk stick? And I'm using right here an Antares, the Shimano Antares. Basically, I'm using it because I like the. Uh, the click dragger that's my favorite i like the click dragger because it reminds me of a spinning pole and it's really fun when you're throwing the jerk bait put these owner stx's on number five with a couple number sixes on the back super super sharp again using that active target looking at them jerking it around throwing it around hydrilla early mornings late in the evenings great way to move around catch some fish uh, you cannot fish the pre-spawn you can't fish anywhere in the u.s anymore but definitely not down in florida without a jackhammer chatterbait Lots of chatterbaits out there. Honestly, I haven't tried many of them because I fell in love with the jackhammer. Not in love with its price point, but hey, you pay for you pay for good things, and this one's definitely the best. Right here, this is again another Z-Man product, a Razor Shad. I switched that up. Um, they use a different bunch of different baits. Depends if I'm shallow, if I'm out deep. In this case, I was just throwing this around Okeechobee, out around the eel grass, hoping to catch a big female as it moved up. Throwing the G Loomis NRX Plus 883C BJR rod, bladed jig rod. Why wouldn't I? 74 medium heavy action, and I'm throwing a seven speed Shimano Bantam with straight 17 pound Seeger and Visex fluorocarbon all around. Super sick setup. Catch a lot of fish on it love this rod it's got a real slow moderate taper great for throwing a uh, chatterbait especially offshore with that 7.4 size uh, plenty of backbone though to still get them out of the thickest hydrilla when you do trick one into biting cannot be in florida and cannot fish a pre-spawn without a swimming worm a lot of different swimming worms on the, on the market this is a brand new one the biospawn exo kick and what i like about it, the exo kick is it has your traditional swimming worm but it has a little tiny paddle tail a little bit of action on this thing in this case i got it paired with a quarter ounce wu tungsten weight a five-aught owner round bend worm hook pretty standard stuff a g loomis 
894 C jigworm rod. Perfect. Again, this jigworm rod, awesome for Texas rig plastics jig. That's why it gets its name, jigworm rod. Again, I'll break that down. But when I'm dragging this thing around, I want the sensitivity. I want that extra fast action that I get out of this 7.5 heavy action rod. Straight 17 floral carbon. I'm just throwing it on a seven speed Shimano Metanium reel. Awesome setup like this little bait it's rib size moves a lot of water when i'm swimming it through the hydrilla also a good one just to put on the old texas rig and braid and flip it around and try to hit uh, isolated cover and pads stuff like that look for a lot uh, coming out of this new bio spawn worm right here what do we got now a flipping bait right here i got just a three quarter ounce Wu tungsten flipping weight a bio spawn vile craw four odd owner jungle hook this is just for flipping cover Love to flip anytime I got it around. Wish that was all I could do sometimes is flip. That's how much I love it. I'm using the G Loomis 894C Jigworm Rod. Same rod I was just using, but in this case, I got it on with the braid for flipping that isolated cover. You know, stuff that I can't quite get that 316th or quarter ounce Cinco down to. And again, I'm using a Bantam. This time on the Shimano Bantam, I'm using an eight speed. Something that when I hit them, I can hit them quick. Basically, you gotta have different weights for different kinds of cover when you're down here in the south. And that brings me to my next one. Let's go right to the big dog. This is the vile bug right here. Bio spawn, got a big one and a half ounce blue tungsten flipping weight, straight 80 pound Power Pro SSB2 and Onyx Black. I got the G Loomis GLX 954C FPR. It's the big dog, the big 711 heavy action. This is for flipping mats, flipping that super heavy, dense cover, and still expecting to pull a big one out. And of course, I got that on a Shimano Mantanium XG. Same reasons I just said. You need to have that eight speed, something you can winch and get them out of there. A cold front this is a big deal. Haven't been able to do too much of it right now because everything's been so warm since we got down here to Florida. I generally do well, better flipping the, the big weight uh, during cold fronts and those post frontal days when those fish are getting up there. It's sunny, but the water's cold, the air's cold, and the isolated, heavy matted cover is a degree or two warmer than the rest of the water around it. Sticking with the weighted stuff, let's get into the light one. Here I got a little 316 ounce Wu Tungsten sinker. The owner cover shot HD, a five aught. Really loving this hook for stuff like this. Throwing a little Cinco's. Uh, in this case, the Biospawn Exo Stick and June Bug. This I'm just pitching around to isolated cover. Great way to present a bait to weary bass out there. I'm using it on straight 50 pound power pro ssv2 onyx black to a 25 pound seeger and visex leader and my rod again is an 894 it's, it's a good rod i really like it g loomis nrx plus 894 jig worm rod xg bantam shimano awesome for winching them out of cover been using that to put a lot of big fish in the boat definitely did down on okeechobee just last week again back on that the mbr series it's the g loomis nrx plus 904c mbr reaction bait rod heavy action straight cork again i'm using that shimano bantam really liking the new bantam if you can't tell and the xg needs something fast because i'm throwing the bobby's perfect snake proof frog and a bluegill color this is i mean just you got to throw it you matted vegetation pre-spawn fish, post-spawn fish for sure, spawning fish of course, um, just an all-around good setup to have frogs put big ones in the boat. They did for me last year. I had a couple nice big blow-ups in practice at Okeechobee, um, but definitely expecting to put some in the box on tournament day here on Seminole. Last but not least, number nine, skinny dipper with a little tiny ace ounce Wu Tungsten weight and an four odd owner jungle wide gap hook, straight 50 pound Power Pro SSB2 and Onyx Black. Again, the G Loomis NRX Plus 904C MBR. When you have a good rod, as you can tell, you can't have enough of them. I'm starting to think this is pretty boring what's on my deck to kick things off on, but these are some super sweet rods. You got to get them in, in your lineup if you don't have them. Just beware once you do, you're going to want to keep using them because they're very, very versatile rods. Again, Shimano Metanium, I'm throwing an HG 7 speed because sometimes I was throwing this over the top of vegetation. I'd want the XG. Other times I was throwing it and swimming it in the water column. So 
I went with the HG. It was definitely, it's a good way to move water. I'll be using this down here on Seminole quite a bit. Kill it in the holes of the lily pads, swim it down the little boat lane, swim it around docks and reed heads. Uh, just a great way to get bit as these bass start to move up shallow. So that's it. That's my what's on my deck for February. Big time lineup. Definitely subscribe to me. We're gonna keep them coming. We'll have one for you on March, April, May, June, all the way through to the late fall when you know I'm out there fishing for big smallies and stuff like that. So again, subscribe to my channel, Josh Douglas Fishing. Thank you for checking this one out. Any comments, leave them below. Questions, I'll try to deliver with answers. Anything you want, throw it on there. Check me out, Josh Douglas Fishing, tight lines. <music>